Okay, so in this one, uh, as I mentioned, I've already shown the previous tutorial or setup uh, was the wireless. Now what I'm going to do is connect, and as you can see here, uh, actually, uh, it is connected via the wireless. Let me just go back to the home page and illustrate that here. So now surprising that the battery is now properly represented because it's now at two LED and it looks like it's 50%. So I'm assuming there's a weird switch or a software bug. I know, being a software guy, that's my first, uh, <laughs> the first thing I'm starting to accuse that the 2575 conditional check is not done appropriately. But let's not go down that rabbit hole. Uh, so here I'm connected to the internet via the Hutu. If I go to the Hutu.com main website and I can go there. So now let me go back to settings, network settings, internet. Uh, currently it's connected via the wireless access and it shows here I'm connected via Skylab. So what I'm going to do is because Skylab also has a wired connection. Let me go ahead and connect that up to the Hutu Titan and let's see what happens here. So the LED is blinking from green to blue and it looks like it stayed on green. So let me refresh this page since I didn't actually see it do anything. Ah. It refreshed on itself. No, let me force a refresh. Ah, so now I have, so, oh, okay, so it, it, if you plug in the wired Ethernet, it immediately defaults to that. So it, it then becomes the default and it will request the dynamic IP address. Uh, so this is going to be a DHCP, uh, DHCP server client. So it's going to make a DHCP server request. It got a request of 192.168.1.15, which is correct because that's the IP range that, that the hard line, that the uh, wired uh, ports are giving out. And this is the address of the gateway, which is the actual uh, port address. And everything else is pretty much okay. The static IP I won't go over, and the PPOE I won't go over as well. Those are you will, those are very, very specific use cases, and I don't think that 90% of what people will be using will fall into that. However, if you wanted to, and let me see if this will let me change it. I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Uh, what I was going to do is go back to, uh, oh, I don't have them here. Let me just add them. So 208.67.222.222 and 208. 67.220.220. So these are, this is the the two IP addresses for the primary DNS and secondary DNS of OpenDNS, right? So that way, as I mentioned in the previous video uh, about setting the DNS, but uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and watch that. Other way, otherwise, uh, that's pretty much it. And as I mentioned, uh, in the previous video and earlier, this is really not a, a very difficult task or it doesn't really require a lot. It's once you plug in the wired internet access, it will immediately go there. Uh, I can try refreshing here and yeah, it seems to work. Let me click on support or uh, let's click on contact. That should take me. So still working over the wired. So that's pretty much it for this one. All right. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.